What's poppin' Connor High? Today is Friday, October 1st, 2021. I'm Nix. And I'm Izzy. In today's show, we'll be talking about a cyclist accident and how Netflix recently bought a new gaming studio. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Saturday, September 25th, a 16-year-old struck six cyclists training for the Ironman Triathlon on Highway 290 near Waller County. The team was attempting to blow coal at the cyclists after another truck had done so and ended up hitting the cyclists with his truck. Out of the six injured, four were hospitalized and two had to be airlifted to the hospital. We don't know the condition of the cyclists or if the team will be charged yet, but as soon as we do, we'll get back to you. This just goes to show you that all the risky car moves you see in the video games and movies don't work out in real life a majority of the time. Speaking of movies and video games, the popular streaming service Netflix is starting to switch gears in the middle of the world of gaming. In an attempt to reach out into other audiences, Netflix has published games in the past. However, it appears that they are starting to take this attempt a little more seriously because on September 28, 2021, Netflix acquired their first game studio, Night School Studio. These are the people behind the popular title Oxenfree. The vice president of game development at Netflix recently wrote, Night School's commitment to artistic excellence and proven track record make them invaluable partners as we build out the creative capabilities and library of Netflix games together. Fans of either Netflix or video games in general, be sure to look out for future releases. We will now take you to a quick commercial break. Attention Tigers. Friday on October 1st will be your last chance to audition for the upcoming war. Remember, there will be no late applications. You can find where to audition from by scanning the QR codes on the TVs and on the flyers found in the hallways. In the lake, boys. Yeah, let's get one of these real quick. Get one of the, what is this? HP computer. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Good afternoon, Conroe High. I'm Travis, and I'll be doing your weather today. After a rainy, humid week, we can expect no different throughout the weekend. Today will be rainy with a high of 79 and a low of 70. Starting off the weekend, Saturday will have an 80% chance of rain, a high of 80 and a low of 68. Sunday will have a high of 84 and a low of 65 with a 44% chance of rain. Then starting off your week Monday, the sun should be out again with a high of 85 and a low of 61 and a low of 17, er, and a 17% chance of rain. Tuesday should be even sunnier with a high of 84 and a low of 63, but most importantly, only a 5% chance of rain. Today's fun fact of the day is that Google's original name was Backrub. Next up, we have our special segments. Check it out. Hi, my name is Madison Barnett, and I just want to thank you guys for voting for me for homecoming candidate this year. Um, I think the reason you guys should vote for me is because I've been a part of many organizations, including basketball, NHS, and band, and I've also been the drum major, so I've been around uh, the campus, so I know the student body, and so yeah, that's why I think you guys should vote for me. Hi, um, my name is Leslie Garcia, and I am very proud to be part of the homecoming court this year. After all my community has went through, uh, my Hispanic community, I would like for a Hispanic queen to win this year. Um, that's why I'm very honored to be part of the finalist and represent a little bit. Hi, I'm Leah Lawhorn. I'm the cheer captain here at Conroe High. I'm also one of your candidates for Hoko Queen. I feel like Hoko Queen and King represent your school 
and I feel like I would represent Connor High School very well. Hey everybody, um, my name is Marn West and I'm running for Homecoming Queen. I really appreciate that um, y'all chose me as a nominee. Um, the main reason I'm running is because we've had a Golden Girl on court for I think the last five years um, and I get to both represent my team and my school. Um, I love the school, I love our city, and I love the student body and the school spirit that y'all bring. Um, I think all the candidates would be wonderful choices and they're all super deserving, but um, I would really appreciate it if you would vote for me. Thanks y'all. My name is JJ, uh, I'm one of your King nominees. I just want to thank everybody for nominating me. Uh, y'all should vote for me because I just want to be able to represent the band program and the baseball program with a win this year. And yeah. Hey guys, my name is Roman Hamilton and uh, I'm your football team captain. I'm number one on the field, number one in your heart. That's why I think you should vote for me for Homecoming King. You know, why not? Hi, my name is Oza Hernandez, um, varsity football player number 72. Um, I ran for Homecoming King because it will give me a chance to help um, communicate with students that go to Connor High too. Um, I am a lineman on the field, one of the tiniest ones, but I'm the tiny lineman on the field with a big heart. And um, and I want to help, I, I want to get to know the other students of Connor High. So that is why you should vote Eliezer Hernandez for Homecoming King. Hey guys, I'm Nicholas Masella, and first off, I want to thank you guys for nominating me as King. And I feel like I'll be the best King because I'm kind of the every guy, everybody guy. Um, I was in CHS since fourth grade. I used to be in band, I'm an athlete, I work, I work with the academy. So, you know, I'm kind of all over the place and I think I'm the best representation of a Conroe High School student. Uh, again, thank you for voting and vote Nicholas Masella for Homecoming King. We are here on ninth grade campus for our teacher spotlight and today we're here with Miss Kazi and we just wanted to start by asking you some questions. Okay. So to start, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Mrs. Kazi. I teach Algebra 1 at the ninth grade campus. I graduated from uh, the University of Houston downtown back in 2010. All right, and uh, what was your motivation to become a high school teacher? <laughs> uh, my uncle inspired me to be a teacher, so in, initially. He works at uh, JDAP, and we used to work together at Moorhead, and then high school um, came into my life when uh, Mr. G I met Mr. Gorka at a, an ed camp, a training for teachers, and yeah. It's it just all took off from there? Yeah. Um, would you teach anything other than what you teach right now? Yeah, yeah I'd teach anything. <laughs> I just like teaching. Anything at all? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, what, what motivates you to keep teaching? The kids, for sure, the kids. Knowing that I'm making a difference in kids' lives and hearing from them year after year after they leave me and come back and visit, that's the best part. Um, what do you think makes you stand out from the other teachers? Um, probably my focus on um, cooperative learning, teaching the kids how to work together and learn together and grow together. I'd say that. Is there anything you would like to say to all your students watching? I love you guys and I miss my former students a lot. So I see y'all at Maine though. Well, all right. Thank you for uh, doing the interview with us. Thank you. All right. Look at all the things going on here at CHS. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we want to tell you a little about Luis Walter Alvarez, an American experimental physicist, inventor, and professor who was also awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1968 for development of the hydrogen bubble chamber. He received his PhD in 1936 from the University of Chicago and then went on to work with Ernest Lawrence at the Radiation Laboratory at the University of California. Later in 1940, Alvarez helped create many World War II radar projects to help with the war effort. Hey Conroe, the choir department is having their first choir concert Friday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. It is free and open to the public. Come show up and celebrate all the hard work that is happening at the Conroe Choir Program. See you there. If you would like to try out for the girls basketball team, please reach out to Coach Houston for more information. 
you must have a physical on file in the trainer's office. Tryouts will be held October 21st for grades 10 through 12 and October 25th for freshmen. Don't forget to submit your audition for The Roar, our new vocal competition. Just scan the QR code on the TVs or go to ktignews.com to submit your 30-second audition video. Auditions close on Friday and no late auditions will be accepted. The CDC will have its first meeting on Wednesday, October 6th at 2.45 p.m. The CDC? Yes, the CDC, the Cultural Diversity Club. The Cultural Diversity Club is a new club here at Connor High School that is open to all students who would like to learn more about and celebrate the many different cultures that exist here in Connor High School and in America. Skills USA Animation will have its first meeting on Wednesday, September 29th from 2.45 to 3.30 in Mr. Willis's classroom, room 512 in the Rotunda. Come learn about the Skills USA framework, contest, and events, and opportunities to earn scholarships and a letter jacket. Note that to participate in Skills USA, you will need to be currently enrolled or have completed the animation course. Do you have old tennis shoes of any condition just laying around and you do not know what to do with them? Help out girls cross country and track by donating to us. Our booster club is collecting them to send off for a donation back to the girls program. Please email or get in contact with Coach Ogden. That's going to be Sogden at ConnorISD.net and she can come by to pick them up. The Connor Noon Lions Club is offering three separate scholarships, all of which the top three applicants for each one will receive $1,000. Scholarships consist of writing an essay on innovation and change, diabetic awareness essay, and an anti-vaping speech contest. Check Naviance for more dates and info. Connor ISD is hosting a college night for students and parents to attend on October 12th from 6.30 to 8.30 at Lone Star Convention Center. Over 100 colleges and universities will be represented at this event. This is an opportunity opportunity for you to come learn more about colleges this week and ask questions about colleges, majors, and financial aid opportunities. You do not want to miss this event. Homecoming court nominations are coming soon. Senior King and Queen nominations will be from Monday, September 20th until Wednesday, September 22nd on the student voting booth app. The top four nominees will be notified on Friday, September 24th, and will have a one-week campaign for Homecoming King and Queen. King and Queen voting will be on the following Monday, October 4th through Wednesday, October 6th. Freshman, sophomore, and junior court nominations will be September 20th to 22nd. Top four nominees will be notified on Friday, September 24th. They will also have three days to campaign, and voting will be Thursday, September 30th, and Friday, October 1st. The student voting booth can be found on your SSO page. Starting this week, NHS has started a t-shirt competition to help spread school spirit. The t-shirt designs will be decided by a competition between the students who submits their designs to be judged. The student who wins the competition will get their design printed on the shirt to be sold throughout the school, and the winner will get a free t-shirt with their design on it. If you want more information on where to sign up, look for posters around the school. Admissions of a design will end on October 1st. Would you like to be part of the 2021-22 to Bowling Club? Triads will be held on October 1st at 3.30 p.m. at 300 Bowl. You must have $10 and a physical on file to try out. For more info, contact Miss Leah Anderson in room 232 in the Towers. Texas A&M San Antonio is a newer university that began in 2009 and now serves over 6,500 students. Approximately 77% of their students are first-generation college students, just like many of you. Students are able to pursue a variety of degrees such as information, technology, cybersecurity, biology, business, and education. They encourage student development. Texas A&M San Antonio has a first 50 days challenge that new students can participate in. This allows students to get to know the campus and what it has to offer. For a student wanting to attend a similar university, Texas A&M, but on a smaller scale, Texas A&M San Antonio may be a great option. Make sure to tune in next week for our content creators real talk on Monday, fish and chips cooking with culinary on Tuesday, and an episode of Family Feud Game Time on Thursday. Also, don't forget about our hallway procedures. Remember to walk and talk, stay to the right, and keep hats off.